hi guys today in this video I am going to show you how to install workflow manager 2013 on SharePoint server 2019 first of all main question is how to verify that workflow manager 2013 is installed and connected to SharePoint server there is two way to find out first from central administration go to application management and manage service applications and here should be one service named workflow service application proxy this is not here and second go to site or list after that site or list settings and go to workflow settings and there should be SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint 2010 workflows and there is nothing here this means uh, in this SharePoint 2019 server there is no workflow manager 2013 is installed or configured so let's start installing workflow manager 2013 go to your browser and download Microsoft web platform installer here and click on install this extension I'm going to run this component I accept the terms in the license agreement install finish okay I will close this tab and minimize all tabs source for OIP yeah this Microsoft web platform installer yes and source for workflow manager in first we need to add this workflow manager 10 refresh to you to cumulative update to add and click on install I accept I don't want to use Microsoft update for now continue okay workflow manager 1.0 refresh co2 is uh, installed successfully do not go for the configuration here just close this one and this one too and browse again this Microsoft web platform installer yes search again workflow manager now we need to add workflow manager 1.4 cumulative update 5 and click on install I accept it is installed successfully click on finish here if you have more than one system or machine in your farm you have to install workflow manager client on your each machine or each system okay close this one and now time to configure workflow manager here yes and continue with second step configure workflow manager with custom settings provide your database name here my database name is db test connection that's fine I will use default database name if you want to different then you can uh, type here or rename here test connection that's fine here provide your farm admin credential or user 
credential we have db creator permission on database server and certificates i will not continue with this auto generate i will generate myself go to iis i will create one self signed certificate server certificates create self signed certificates and friendly name is workflow and select personal not web hosting so continue with personal certificate type okay this self signed certificate for workflow manager copy to file next i don't want to export the private key next uh, the certificate extension will be .cr that's fine I will keep in desktop workflow save next finish ok and close this one minimize this one and install this certificate to trusted root certificate authority go to local machine yes place all certificate in this following store browse and choose trusted root certificate okay next finish the import was successful okay here browse more choices yes this is our self sign certificate okay i will choose this self sign certificate for all the services okay this is the port and check this one allow workflow management over http on this computer that's fine next go to next step here continue with this default database if you want you can change here database name and configure service account i will use same service account which I just selected in this back step or first step no auto generate certificates so browse my workflow certificate more choices workflow certificate ok and these are the port I will continue with default ports and enable firewall rule on this computer next this is the summary if you want to change something go back and make some changes otherwise we are good to go so i'm going to click on apply now it is creating the database and service configurations it will take few minutes depending on your system configuration okay configuration finished successfully processing completed close this one and go to IIS here you can see here inside there is workflow manager here and this is the ports and the application pool there is workflow management pool that's fine and this last step we need to run powershell command in sharepoint management cell sharepoint management cell run as administrator yes okay the powershell command is register sp workflow yeah sp workflow service sp site uh, this is my sp site this one and uh, workflow host uri 
provides your machine name or system name where you installed this uh, workflow manager my system name is sp19 just make sure yeah this is sp19 so http sp19 and port i'm going to use non secure http so port is 12291 12291 and allow authentication over ESTTP that's fine and hit enter okay no warning no error it means good to go here refresh this page yes here you can see here SharePoint 2013 workflows that's great and in this central administration yeah here it is workflow service the application proxy and it is connected thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you